guys welcome back and so today I don't know where I put my tripod so I'm gonna hold this anyway um, today we're gonna be doing our cage tour so y'all have been wanting a cage tour or you Laura I can't say your last name because I don't know how to say it and I don't want to say it wrong um, anyway shout out to you um, so we're gonna be doing cage tour and products that I kind of recommend and I can't really I can't really recommend um, brands because I don't normally look at the brands. I look at the product, product and how well it's made and stuff like that, and if it's bird safe or not. So um, I'll just show you what I recommend, and I'll also put some things in the link um, that y'all can click on to go buy it as well for yourself. So yeah, let's get to this video. Ta! -da! Here's the bird's cage and. It is my favorite color. <laughs> it's blue. So, yeah, this is the cage. I know it's kind of tiny, but they are budgies, so they're kind of like, they fit perfectly fine in there, but I still want to build them another cage just for like if I had to separate them, and also because I just want them to have a better cage, like that way it could have more stuff in it, just more interaction and change it a lot more. Um, if you see this, this is an old bed sheet that I use for their cage cover to cover them at night or after they take a bath or whatever after they're kind of dry. Anyway, so that's kind of what we use. Um, you can get a cage cover, but it has to be light material and breathable um, because it's not safe. Anyway, this right here is on the outside of the cage if you're wondering because birds can chew that. It can cause an impact if they swallow it or destroy it. Um, and you'd have to get surgery to get that out, and I don't want to take the risk. So this is just an outside of their cage hangout toy. Because Sweepy is a destroyer, and she has destroyed that rope right there, and these toys right there, and that thing right there. Mainly right, <laughs> mainly right there. But like, yeah. So anyway, here, let me just show you the cage. So I have a bunch of nice perches, <laughs> natural perches. So actually, I only have like two, but they're like big ones. And then these are safe now because they're not actual dowels. They are dirty, so, like, look, I have to clean this today. So, if y'all want a video on that, tell me in the comments below. Um, here's a toy that I have for the birds with a bell on the bottom. Sweet Pea loves this toy, like, so much. Liter liter it's literally her favorite. It's been destroyed, like, every day. <laughs> it's getting worse. Um, right here is kind of a perch but it's also a toy and it's kind of a rope and it's kind of a ladder birds love this my birds love it they love to hang out on the top of it like right there and then also just hang out at the bottom it's just like a lot of fun because it's more to climb and birds in the wild would be climbing all the time this i don't see them hang out a lot on um but i do see my bird uh sweet pea sitting on top of it all the time she likes to sit on top of toys like if you're looking for the sweet pea one day she's just She'll be on this perch right here, this doll, not this doll, this giant natural wood perch. Or up here on top of this, or maybe on top of this, or on top of that. Um, yeah, she'll be everywhere. She's just like crazy. So if you're wondering what this blue one is, that is not to hold millet or anything. Um, but it is to hold my bird. I'm just kidding. She loves it. It's like, she's had it forever. So we didn't get rid of it because she loved it and she was on top of it all the time. Um, here is, I'm sorry guys, I'm not really good at this. Um, here is a toy with beads in it. They don't play with this that much. Um, but I have it here just in case I decide to one day. They're more of like a shredder. They're more shredders. Shredders. And if you see this right here, that is a grit perch. So I know when I said in my beginner mistakes, grit perches are bad for your bird's feet, and they are. Um, but only if they're on it for a long period of time, moving around and all that stuff. And my birds don't go there all the time. So you do want to have one though, because it is a good uh, way to grind your nail their nails down instead of just like clipping them. Because if you don't know how to clip them properly, it's not good for your bird's feet. Um, well, it's not good for you either, because you could hurt your bird. But anyway, that's that. Um, it's totally fine if it's not where your birds are going to perch all the time and not over their water bowl. This is not over their water bowl. This is kind of a over to the side a little bit and this has a thing anyway too. So this, that's also why you want to clean their stuff. I don't see any poop in it, but there are things floating in it. So right there. So that's why you need to clean their water. 
And then you may see the food is like this. I got so busy, I keep forgetting to change it. So I'm in the process right now of switching their diet. So, again. So anyway, here is that. There's this. Um, that's a DIY toy. It's a foraging toy. It's basically just paper towels rolled up and inside. Well, it's hanging too, so you can also add that. Um, with seeds in it, and they can just go in and eat it. So anyway, yeah, and the cuddle bone's on the floor because someone, <clears throat> someone keeps knocking it down. So anyway, that's how, how that is. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my websites, and I will be putting that stuff, that stuff that I use in <laughs> the description box below. And so y'all can go and buy it for yourselves.